Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time, I will discuss to you the lesson about summarizing. First, let's define the word summarizing. Summarizing is the process of condensing a piece of information, text, or content into a concise, clear, and coherent form while retaining its essential meaning and key points. So remember, summarizing is a shortened version of a text. This time, I will share to you some tips in summarizing. First, read the text. So you're going to read the text not maybe once, but maybe twice, thrice, or so many times until you really understand what you are reading about. Next, you will identify the text structure. If you are wondering what is text structure, I already uploaded a video about it. So there are six text structure. Please check the video I already posted because text structure is very essential for you to summarize a certain text, for you to identify the relationship of the texts. The third tip is take note of important details. So in this part, you're going to identify the main idea and the supporting ideas. So in that way, you will just include important details and not the not so important details. After identifying the text structure and the main ideas, this time you will have the preliminaries of your summary. What we mean with preliminary? This is your first try of writing your summary. Please remember that in writing your summary, use your own words for you not to commit plagiarism. The next one is maintain objectivity. So in this part, you're going to present the information objectively without inserting personal opinions or biases. Your role as a summarizer is to convey the content faithfully and impartially. After summarizing, so you do now revise or edit your work if necessary. Review your work to ensure accuracy, coherence, and completeness. Revise is needed to clarify any ambiguous points or refine the structure. This time, I will share to you two techniques in summarizing. Number one, by using graphic organizer. So, you can use this, what we call, five wives and one husband. So, that means five WH question and one H question. So, you can start with what, when, where, who, and why. And then, answer the question, how. So, that is one way in summarizing. And the last techniques in summarizing is outlining. In outlining, you will just identify the main points and the supporting details. So that ends our lesson about summarizing. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.